So welcome to my city. Well, that's a typical Kopitiam, a uh, eatery place here in KL. And today, I'm with my friends over here. Hi, Robin. Hey, John. What's, what's up, man? Up? <laughs> You're gonna be, what's up? Hey, I not on here, but here. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> That's like, so wrong. <laughs> and this is Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hello. What's up? Oh, I can see myself. Hi, Andrew. Hey, hey eyes up here. Eyes up here. Hi. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> So today the, the goal is to be using my A74. Well, this is the Helios 55 millimeter. Now that you mentioned it, I should have brought up mine. Why? I forgot about it totally. It's in the dry box, just chilling. All right, guys, let's walk to Central Market. So this is the Helios 55mm with an adapter on the E-mount and what it is is a manual lens um, and what it's known for is the swirly bokeh at f2 in which we will show you that later in the video. Now the first few shots that's taken a very apparent halation and gloom that's happening on this photo. Notice the bike helmet has a little halation which gives the photo a little of that vintage film look. So essentially, this is like a 55mm lens, so it's relatively tight and it is supposedly better for portraits. With a manual focus kind of thing, it does slow me down for sure. In terms of autofocus, I cannot make use of the A7 IV's state-of-the-art <laughs> autofocus, but hey, that's not the point, right? Uh, we can slow down for photography and get some interesting shots over here. Check this out. And my manual focus is way off. And I don't think it's the lens. I'll need to slow down more to photograph with this right, lens. here's another shot. Oh, that's a cap. I'm not sure whether I managed to get a cap. Alright. And another person walking. Right, there you go. Like seriously? It's difficult to lock on focus, especially I'm so pampered with the A7 IV autofocus. So yeah, that's the portrait of Andrew. Of and even Andrew. that it is not sharp. Oh my god, but look at the bouquet. To make it better, you just gotta stand underneath the light. You're under shadow, dude. You gotta be like lean lean back backwards. Yeah, I think this particular photo is a little <laughs> bit better when compared to the rest. Um, I guess we need a little bit more control when it comes to using this lens, a little bit more patient. If you haven't met Robin, this is Robin. Hello. And he is one of the more prominent YouTuber in Malaysia that's talking about no, micro portraits, cameras. So that's his URL. Scan it on the QR code right here, right now. But put 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 a square here. Yeah, that's the QR code there. QR code, yeah, square. <laughs> Alright? So subscribe to his channel. You can see how far Andrew is walking and that's a shot shot using the LCD behind the camera. And I do find using the viewfinder, I get better accuracy when it comes to autofocus. Well, 31st of August is coming and uh, I thought that was a great shot because there's a lot of a Malaysian flag. And that particular building is like uh, a new icon in Malaysia. We try a small behind. What's that? Okay, sure. So, I thought it was a good foreground, background shot of the building, so check this out. I'm getting tired of your bullshit. I'm tired of your voice. I'm gonna shoot this at F2, and I wonder how it will look like, um, especially how the background gonna render with the Helio 55mm with this one. And notice how swirly the bouquet is. Alright guys, just quickly share with you the build of the lens. Now this is a 50 plus years old lens and it's uh, even older than I am and I purchased it uh, off carousel, second hand or third hand, I'm not sure, I don't know the history of this lens. But it's performing alright. It comes with a metal hood over here um, and also a filter to protect the lens. Um, this is the manual focus ring. 
you could see uh, the manual focus uh, numbers that's moving over there. And then you have the aperture ring, which essentially a lot of time I'm setting it into F2. Smallest aperture that you can set is uh, F16. All right. And because I'm using the A74, uh, when I purchase it, it comes together with an E-mount converter from the M-mount, I reckon. And this is how it looks like on the A74. Oh, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is John, and if photography and video is your jam, don't forget to subscribe. It feels like one of the activities of uh, photo walking is to be standing in the middle of road talking and yank yanking. And... Oh, is it real? You're waiting for you. <laughs> And that's Andrew, and between both of us, we host the John and Andrew Show podcast. We usually speak about the photo walk in the show, and you may be able to join us if you're around Clang Valley by searching us on Spotify and also the Apple Podcast. I've got to say that the 58mm lens gives a tight crop when it comes to straight photography. I can see at times that I would like to use the 58mm for that. Yeah, Andrew, look over to your right shoulder. But essentially, it is a portrait lens, 58mm. Wow. I can create Do some you know? really dreamy bouquet separation from a portrait. That's the look of the Helios 55mm manual lens. What do you know about the Helios? It's old. It's old. It's a vintage glass. It has no autofocus. But it's good. It has a swirl bouquet. Swirly. Swirly. Swirl. Very... very <laughs> it's an imperfect lens, but the imperfection makes it a very nice character. And that's the conclusion of the Helios 55. Hope you guys like this episode of our photo walk featuring the Helios I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Subscribe. Bye. Yeah, subscribe to Robin. Oh, I know you're bad for me. I have to lay my hands on this bag you have.